I have been coming to the Tyrone Guthrie Centre for a few years now, and it's always an inspiring place, no matter what time of the year. This time I'm writing about Westmead, the place I call home, and as someone with a strong interest in natural history, my primary focus in this work is local ecology and how those of us who live in Westmead experience it and describe it. I have sought to find a way, a form of poetry that would model ecological processes, a poetry that is non-linear, slower and site specific. I sometimes think in this way, I'm seeking something that can be best described as embodiment. The rapper Jay-Z once described hip hop as a mixture of poetry and boxing, something physical that moves as though it is alive. And I think I know what he means. Poetry should make words do more, make the words work on more than one level. It requires something less cerebral and more corporal like those otters that swim in the Shannon. It means hearing the sounds all around, merging into one in the way that words in a poem can keep each other alive and afloat. And sometimes taking apart these words that we take for granted and looking for their history and the nucleus inside. A blade of grass. I grew up speaking Hiberno English, English woven on a Gaelic loom, Con Houlihan. Meeting someone from the Roscommon side of Athlone, and we are talking about a recent football match and a disappointing performance. A broad, gap toothed smile, and he says, I didn't give a thrawny for it. Thrawny, so long since I've heard that musical word. It means a blade of grass. So much held in one word, a blade of grass and what it might mean. This sends me hunting through a list of words in the Irish collected in Clannown in 1989. So I might say this man had a dread or toothy grin or a mont, a gap in his teeth. It floods black, my grandmother telling me to bring in a gowl of turf, an armful the heat we need measured out by the body. The cala, a river metal, stretched in English to callows, full of water mint and sedge and hairs in summer. Passing a thrum on with thoughts of elderberry jam, a tausha of words remembered, conjured up through a chance encounter, ethereal, how language floats and weaves its way through us like a ghost.